Good evening, everyone. It's a pleasure to get to spend some time with you this evening. And tonight I want to read to you the first psalm that I ever memorized as a child. And it has stayed with me well into my 40s, where I am today. But um, especially in this season where we are living in a lot of uncertainty and unpredictability, and at the same time as a church are being challenged to learn to rest in Jesus, I um, think that this pro the promises in this psalm are really um, perfect for us. And so I just ask you, you to quiet yourself with me as I invite the Holy Spirit. And if you're comfortable with it, keep your eyes closed as I just read this psalm over you and you just allow the Holy Spirit to speak to you through it. So Holy Spirit, we invite your presence here with us tonight. We ask you to come and to rest on each one of us. I pray that your word would reach into our souls and feed us. That your truth would, would make light, make our paths light. In Jesus' name, this is Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. There's so many things about this psalm that speak so deeply to me, especially right now where I am, and I know each one of you are in uncertainties and just the unsettledness of structures not being there that provide me with so much comfort. And as I've been reading uh, through the Old Testament this spring and seeing how David's real, his, his uniqueness was that that he never stopped going to God to ask him what he wanted and to get what he needed from him. Whereas Saul quickly started making decisions based on what he thought was best, David even, no matter whether he was at the top of his game in terms of victories and being king or whether he was in the most dire straits of being chased uh, for the, and in fear of his life, he always went to God and he sought his will, and he sought his presence. And that's what one of the things that is so clear in this psalm is that he learned that God would always provide for him in every situation. And so I challenge you tonight, as you um, end your day, whether you're about getting ready to go to bed or um, whether you still have several hours of work in front of you, to, to not, um, walk away from this devotional and go back to what you were doing, but to take some time to just sit with the words of this psalm and to allow God to speak to you the ones that you need to hear most. Whether it's his promise that he will, lie, he will let you lie down in green pastures and restore your soul. Whether he, it is that he's going to be with you no matter how deep and dark the valley is that you're in the middle of whether it's that he will take care of your enemies, or whether it's the final promise that David rested in, which is that surely goodness and loving kindness will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Bless you all.